Okay, so there is a brand new release of OBS and I didn't realize there was a new release until I opened it up. There was an update available. And so now I have OBS 30.2.2. So 30.2 is the main release version, but 0.2 is a bug fix. And there is many things that uh, this offers as usual. And I'm gonna be going over some of the main things. It's just my first impressions. And for most of these, I probably won't use them. But I'll be showing you these anyway because they might be useful for you. And so the first thing that I noticed right away is the visual look. It just has this overall cleaner look, specifically down here in the audio mixer section. I think it is larger and it just looks cleaner and more colorful. And this new changes to the UI is prevalent throughout. It just looks familiar, but it looks a lot cleaner in my opinion. And I really do like that. And then the next thing I think is pretty big uh, because they have introduced a new recording format and it's called hybrid MP4. Currently it's still in beta. So what this does is it combines the stability of recording in MKV because typically if you record in MP4, it'll give you this warning where things you know could be fragmented. You could have things that are unrecoverable if you don't use MKV. So this hybrid MP4 is a combination of that and also allowing you to use MP4, which is still the most used uh, format for video. And so that is, I think, a really big thing, especially for those who does a lot of streaming and you run into the situations where you're doing this in MP4 and then it crashes and then it's unrecoverable. And so this is probably gonna be a very, very big thing for streamers out there, but I think it's just important for people in general. And then another thing that has been added is it changes to the appearance theming. And so there is this new section, if I recall, I don't remember this being there, uh, but you can add additional themes, have more customization. And there was themes available before, but this is kind of new to me. So I'm not really sure how to use it, but for people who have used themes before and who create their own themes, this is gonna be really cool. I think it's called Compostable Themes. I think that's what it's called. And then uh, another thing that is offered is the ability to add chapter markers. This is really, really big, especially if you're somebody who does long videos or streaming. So if you can see here in the hotkeys, there's add chapter marker, and currently in the hybrid MP4 only. And what this will allow you to do is add markers in your video. So whenever you bring it into video editors like DaVinci Resolve, you already have markers there. And so this is gonna be really, really useful for people who do longer videos and who actually want to add markers in their video so they know where they want to make their edits. And then going back to some of the other options that this new uh, release offers, is in this whole thing called multi-track video. Uh, I'm not really familiar with that and I don't know where the setting is in here, uh, but basically if you're doing streaming specifically on platforms like Twitch, you could send multiple, I would say quality versions of your video. So not only will you have a 1080p, but you could also have a 720p version. Instead of having the platform encoded for you, you could send it directly from this. So for people watching your video, they have the option to choose different resolutions. And I think this is gonna be a better quality versus uh, having the platform actually do the encoding for you. So uh, that's gonna be another great feature. And then other benefits here is gonna be primarily for Linux users and I am a Linux user. And so I'll show you that uh, in the next part of this video where they made some improvements there. And other than that, I think these are like the main improvements, at least the big things that I can see. And I think these are really, really welcome features, especially for people like myself who uses OBS practically every single day to create videos. And so now we're here in Linux, specifically Linux Mint. This is the primary operating system that I use. And this is where I use OBS the most. And with every new release of OBS, I am really happy that they're adding features that were previously only available in Microsoft Windows. So it's really nice to see that the overall look, feel, and features in OBS is becoming more standardized across all platforms. So let me show you the final features that are added in 30.2 for Linux users. So if I go here to settings and then I go to output, 
practically everything that we have in Microsoft Windows is available here. And if we go to recording, we'll notice something new here and that is in the video encoder. Now I do not have a NVIDIA uh, GPU, I have an AMD GPU, but the one thing that they added uh, with this release is the ability to use the NVENC AV1 encoder. And the AV1 encoder is the newest encoder, it is more efficient. And so that's gonna be really great for all of those people who have an NVIDIA card with the AV1 encoder. And even with my AMD GPU and also this Intel GPU, there are encoders for that as well. And so it's really awesome for us to have those additional features. And there's also some other things that they've added for Linux textures, if I remember correctly. So all of these things will improve the overall quality and performance. And as you can see here, this also has a hybrid MP4 as well. So lots of really, really great features in OBS, not only from a visual point of view, but of course, all the stuff underneath. And so I can't wait to really utilize some of these features and test them out. And I'll probably definitely make another video later uh, going through some of these features in more detail as I get to learn them more. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other OBS features that you like with this new release, be sure to leave in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my OBS tutorials, tips, and tricks, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below. Hey Geeks, if you are a brand new creator and you simply want something easy to get you started, well, I got something for you with my Creator Starter Kit. This is a super simple step-by-step -step guide that's gonna take you from having no channel to developing your very first YouTube channel along with ideas, thumbnail designs, and other creator tips, including marketing. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and get started creating.